You guys, I'm beside myself right now. So if I start stuttering and I start r rambling and my accent gets really bad, you know, but you know I got to be fired up if I'm going to be doing a live, like, it, like with no makeup and no nothing. First of all, look how pretty those are, okay? My, my ADD just caught up with me. Look at those. Oh my God, I have nails. 40 years, biting my nails. I have nails now. These are my nails. These are mine. But anyway, let me tell you what just occurred here. Oh my God. So I'm scrolling through, you know, it's Sunday, I'm scrolling, I'm doing my thing. And someone decided that they were going to put up a thing saying that nature was the cure for depression. Getting out in nature was the cure. And that medication was the lifelong addiction. I am not Christian. But I'm going to need some salvation today, y'all. Because, for real, I'm going to tell this bitch to take several seats. Because let me tell you why everything about that is wrong. Okay? First of all, if you are born wired incorrectly, you may not have the components necessary to make certain chemicals in your brain. That's just where that's at. You may not be able to make things that make... I want you to know. Really? Really? We're doing this right now? Yeah. Boy. This, this, is, this is medication and meditation right here. This, this woman sat there and tried to say that the pharmaceutical industry... Hey, 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 now. I need you to stop or I'm going to send you to your sister. Go watch you some Godzilla. Okay. Anyway... Lord help me with this. This person decided, without her psychiatrist degree, without a psychological degree, without any education other than what she claims she has, that medication is evil. Medication, medication is the root of all evil. Medication is the bane of society. Because it, it just, it's bad, it's bad. All you need to do is go out. Go out in nature. Go meditate. Go do things that are good for your soul. And you'll be healed and cured of your depression. Well, bitch, let me tell you no. No. And you're going to sit there and try to tell me that I'm wrong? Let me tell you something, sweetheart. Take several seats. Because no. No, it does not work that way. Some people are not manufactured correctly. That's just where that's at. You are not going to sit there and tell me that I can go out to my backyard, sit in the sun for five minutes, and all of a sudden feel better. It does not work that way. Some people cannot produce the chemicals that it, re it is required so that you don't feel like a worthless human being to crawl out of your bed every damn day. Boy, I swear on God. Get over. I am so heated up about this. It is so ridiculous. I've been fortunate that I've been able to battle my depression by myself without medication. I have really good days and I have not so good days. I have to say lately, my not so good days have totally been different than they used to be. I attribute that to the, key, the company I keep. Don't surround yourself with assholes. You know, before you check, your, check yourself in for depression, don't surround yourself with assholes because they're going to bring you down. Instead, surround yourself with good people. I'm fortunate enough to have good people in my life now. I've totally upgraded. I still have some components of my old life, but I have some new components, and that has made the complete difference in my life. That has made a complete difference. Make sure you're not surrounding yourself with people who are telling you you're worthless. Because that is a huge thing. Because their voice becomes your inner voice. But what this chick was saying was that you don't need medication. Just have a therapist. Just have someone to talk to. You know, don't always go to popping pills. Well, guess what? It doesn't work that way for some people. For some people, it's a combination of pills that they have to take because it's what their body requires. It's what their mind requires. You wouldn't tell a diabetic to just go out and take a hike in the woods instead of injecting insulin into their body. 
So why the hell is it okay to tell someone with a mental illness that that's what they need? Not medication. Oh, let's go tell some leukemia kids that they don't need that chemotherapy because that's a lifelong addiction. Bitch, no! It doesn't work that way! You have no idea what you're talking about! You are not educated! Just because you sit there and say you're a holistic therapist? What? No! Just no! Just because you read something on Pinterest? Damn, no! You are not an educated individual! And you sure as hell do not have the right to sit and tell me and my friends and my pals and my tribe that there's something wrong with us because we need to take pills. You don't have that right. You don't have that right to tell us that we're bad people because we make that choice. I'm sorry, yes, if I had to, and at one point I was, if I had to, I would take a pill rather than sitting in my bed crying every day for three fucking weeks too fucking exhausted to get out of my bed because I couldn't deal with life at that time how dare you have the right have the audacity to think you have the right to tell people that you do not get that. Just because that's how you battled yours? Yay, congratulations. You did it yourself. I'm so proud of you. You should be proud of you too. But bitch, you do not get the right to tell us what works for us. It's all mixed up. It doesn't work that way. And in my friends who are watching, who are in the same boat with me, I'm hoping you're fired up about this too. I'm... I'm I'm lit up because it's, I mean, to sit there and say that you don't need medication, it's a lifelong addiction. Why is it okay to tell someone with a mental illness that, but you wouldn't tell somebody with a physical illness that? You would never in your right mind go up to someone with AIDS and tell them they don't need their medication. You would never tell someone with hepatitis that they don't need their medication. So why do you get to tell it to someone who has depression? No, it doesn't work that way. And if I, if I look crazy and I look insane right now, good. This is a thing about being crazy and being insane. So whatever. You want to, if I hope she sees this, God, she blocked me. So, you know, if y'all want to go ahead and share it, go ahead, share it. Please, dear God, share it. Because there, nobody talks about this. Everyone talks about it, but nobody talks about it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody it just sits there, and it's like the big elephant in the room that we all see. We all know it's there, but nobody's going to say anything about it. Because it's so taboo still. Good gracious goddess, we are 21st century people. Stop putting it in the closet. For real? I've been out of closet for so long, I don't even know what the hell hole it's in. Okay? Can we please... Move past it. It's not a stigma. It's not a shame. It's not a red badge of courage. It's none of that nonsense. It's part of you. You are not your depression. You are not your anxiety. It's part of you. You are not it. Okay? And if you choose medication because that's what you choose, baby, that's your life. You do that. You do you. If you choose to go like me honestly it's because I don't have insurance right now so you know it's you know it is what it is I just I don't understand man I don't understand where people get this concept that it's a bad thing but I love you I know you're awesome if you oh, look how pretty those I'm sorry but my ADD is kicking in right now look at that that is gorgeous and I have nails yo if anybody's known me, like knows me, knows me, y'all know this has never happened ever. So, yeah, rock on. So, anyway, go ahead and share this. If you've got, if you or someone you love, someone you know has mental illness, depression, anxiety, whatever it is, go ahead and share this with them. If you want, you don't have to. It's whatever. I love you guys. I really do. Thank you for letting me vent because this was going to sit and stew and it had to come out because... 
I cannot handle people. Who, I cannot ha handle pretentious people. And that's what that was. That was just self-righteous, pretentious nonsense. And I, I just don't have a place for that right now. So I love you guys. I love you. Be good to each other, okay? Be good humans. Because that's, you know, in the end, we ain't getting out of this along. But we are, we are going to, we are going to be good humans, I think. I love you. I'll talk to you later.